Hey everyone, Sean Smith here, and today I'm going to be talking about an Amazon PPC strategy that allows you to increase PPC sales on low ACOS campaigns using the Budgets tab in Seller Central Advertising Console. So, if you have an Amazon business or you manage PPC, then you'll definitely want to watch the video because it's a it's a specific tactic that I like to use to increase PPC sales on low ACOS campaigns using the Budgets tab. Now, let's dive right into the video. So I am going to share my screen right now. Do you remember out of budget campaigns? And do you remember getting notifications for out of budget campaigns? So Amazon, they send you emails when your campaigns are out of budget and they give you a, they tell you the budget utilization, the suggested budget, and even allow you in the email to update those budgets. Um, also in campaign manager, you'll see out of budget in the campaign manager when a campaign runs out of budget. So this is kind of like the before versus the budget tab. The reason I'm discussing this is because I, one thing like, okay, so out of budget notifications and get, getting those was great, right? Because it was real time. I don't even know if it was real time, to be honest. I don't think it probably was, but they would send you an email, you get notified. But that was not as good of a method to use for updating budgets as the new budgets tab. I'm serious, man. I will not be using the out of budget notifications because the budgets tab is far superior, far, ah, far superior when it comes to updating budgets and even monitoring progress. So I'm so happy they rolled it out to be honest. And, um, let's go over how just one tactic that I use, um, that can help you when it comes to increasing sales on those low ACOS campaigns. So right here, we've got the budgets tab. So in, in the um, campaign manager, you should see the tab it says budgets beta and it's really, really cool. <laughs> and I'm gonna share with you why it's cool. Because you can see in these columns here, um, like here we've got uh, estimated, estimated missed impressions, estimated missed clicks. Uh, let me go back on that. Estimated missed sales, budget, recommended budget, and apply all. And what this allows you to do is, it gives you forecasts on how many impressions, clicks, and sales that you're missing. It gives you a range on how many of these you're missing because your average time in budget is less than 100%. So, as you can see here, and I love, man, when I saw this tab, I was like, this is amazing. The average time in budget metric is really cool. I think the estimated missed impressions, clicks, and sales are just as awesome. Average time in budget means that like, out of a good example, as you see here, it says 36% on the first uh, first row here. That means, you know, out of 100% of the day, 36% 36 36 of the time it's in budget. That means for the rest of that time, it's out of budget. And then it gives you a recommended budget based on that. It's really, really awesome to be honest. And also, and here's what's even more awesome, is you can apply filters you see how I've applied three filters here to filter by specific campaigns so that you can make adjustments. Now, let's talk about how to target low ACOS campaigns. Here's what I recommend doing. Looking at the last 14 days, excluding 48 hours in the date range over here, see where the date range is. The next, apply three filters. First one, orders greater than or equal to one. You can see that over here. Um, all the way on the left next to filters. The second filter you want to apply is average time and budget less than 100% because we're looking for campaigns where they're running out of budget throughout the day. And then the last one is ACOS, less than your target ACOS. That way you can increase the budgets for campaigns that are below your target ACOS. Keep in mind, and I've, I've done this and it does increase sales. Keep in mind that sometimes when you increase budgets, a costs can go up, so you might even want to go five points below your target. So if your target ACOS is 30%, maybe do less than 25%. Because even 
with low ACOS campaigns, we see that when you increase budgets, a cost does tend to go up, but sales tend to go up as well. I've, I use this for my clients. I was using it for a client, um, like a product launch and it performed really well for us. We saw an increase in sales, slight increase in ACOS, but you know, we want to push as much sales volume during the launch as much as possible. Also, another thing is Definitely check out the budget report metrics. Um, this will tell you what estimated impressions, clicks, and sales means. But if you don't want to read through this, what you can do is you see how there's an I over each metric here. Just hover over the I, and it will dis it will explain what these specifically mean. So I already told you what they mean, but for future reference, if you forget, it's good to to use that. I use that all the time. And then the last piece is going to be the spreadsheet. So you can actually export this data. This is really cool. This is where cause and effect comes in, which I love cause and effect because it allows me to understand things at a deeper level. And so you can export this data. So you, you apply these filters and you can export it. And what it'll do is it'll show you, I deleted the campaign names because it's, it's a client's account and um, can't give you that information, but it will show you all of the campaigns and it'll show you um, the average time and budget, estimated clicks, minimum, maximum sales. So it gives you those estimated metrics in the spreadsheet. But what's really cool about this is in the, in the, in the file title, I put August 3rd to August 18th of 2021 because that's the time frame I'm using for this specific method. So that way when you apply the changes, so let's say I go over here and I apply the changes to these campaigns. Well, guess what I can do a week from now, two weeks from now? I can pull up this file and I can go through these campaigns and I can search for these campaigns in Seller Central and see whether or not impressions, clicks, and sales went up. That way I can measure the output, right? So there's, there's kind of a couple pieces to growing an Amazon advertising account. Number one is optimizing it, and number two is measuring the outputs of those optimizations. So that's why you can use this spreadsheet for that. And that's what I do. I, I do a, this exact system to um, increase sales on low A-cost campaigns for the people I work with. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to use the budgets tab in uh, Seller Central Campaign Manager to increase PPC sales on low ACOS campaigns. Highly recommend testing it if you are an Amazon brand owner or you manage PPC for Amazon brands. Also, if you're if if you're interested, I would love to get results from you. So, if you don't mind, once you if you end up trying this method and you get results, send me an email, sean at ppcamsaccelerator.com. And in the subject line, write budget tab results. And in the body of the email, share the uh, PPC sales numbers before and the PPC sales numbers after along with the time frame, as well as your first name. The reason I wanna do this is because if I get people that actually send me results, I'd love to do a follow-up video sharing those results, but don't worry. I will only share your first name, um, and if you want me to share your company, that's fine as well, but I promise not to share any information around, around the Amazon brand. I know it's a confidential thing. I will just only share numbers. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I will talk to you later.